do you have a pet or pets in our case, in my case, and I'll tell you more about that, or do you love animals and you're finding that you're stressed out a lot during the, during the days or at work or in your life, right? We all are dealing with stress these days, yet animals provide a pretty amazing reset for us. And I'm gonna share three things, three ways that animals help us reset, talk about the science behind it and share a little personal story. Animals provide us with so much I think we probably, most of us know that. We've either had a cat or a dog in our life. Some people have bunnies, birds, rats. I mean, I've had friends who've had all kinds of rats, super smart animals. But I wanted to share a couple of things with you today. First of all, animals provide such an incredible deep reset for our system. Not only do they decrease stress in our body just by being with them, just by touching their fur, your body will instantly get a reset. It's gonna decrease the stress hormones, which is cortisol. It's gonna increase oxytocin, which is the bonding hormone, but it lowers blood pressure. It helps to increase your cardiovascular health and it gets you outside to exercise. That's pretty cool, huh? Three, three things. But I have a personal story to tell you because my family has had a pet care business for 20 years. And one of my favorite stories is my son is sitting in his high chair. It's at Christmas time. We started a dog walking business, but very soon people were like, would you please watch Fido over the holidays? We're like, okay. So we had six dogs in the house. My son is in his high chair, he's about one year old. He's got a semicircle of dogs sitting very patiently right around the front of the high chair and they're just looking up at him because he's tossing Cheerios and peas and stuff off the high chair and they're gobbling it up. And my, my joke was that I call them Hoovers and Eurekas because they, they would just completely clean the floor which was awesome. But more importantly, our family benefited so much from being with animals. And I have another tip for you. Um, being in the pet care business for a very long time, I have three animals, three dogs in particular, that we really love, that we find are just really good, easygoing animals to have in the family. And the first dog that we would recommend, just based on our own experience with our pet care business, is the bulldog. Oh, oh, oh. How can you not just melt? How can the stress just not melt away looking at that face? But they're so easy going and chill, you know, they need some exercise, but they just love to just hang out and kind of, <laughs> they got that funny little sound. Awesome dogs. Uh, the next dog that we absolutely love is a greyhound. Greyhounds are super sweet, super gentle creatures, fast as all get out, as you know. And a lot of our clients actually rescued greyhounds and they were the most amazing, intelligent, gentle, family-friendly dog that I think we've ever experienced. We are even considering adopting a greyhound ourselves at some point when we um, get down the road and my friend's behind the camera and she's like, yeah. So I just, <laughs> I'm seeing her, seeing her reaction. And then the last, of course, is the old favorite. I mean, how many of us had to read Old Yeller, right? We're talking about the, the lab, the golden, but the Labrador is hands down one of the best family dogs. More, you know, can be active and relaxed at the same time. But the Labrador is one of my favorites because I remember my son, Labradors tend to be very ball centric. So we would say, go outside, get some exercise, throw the ball for the dog. And in the backyard, he could just, he was getting exercise throwing the ball and the ball was, the dog was getting exercise. So it was just a great, a great relationship from the get-go. So those are the three breeds that we absolutely love. Again, any animal, of course, brings you that kind of love and reset that you can get by being with them. And if you don't have your own animal, then you can consider maybe volunteering at a shelter or visiting friends or pet sitting for a friend. Now, a lot of people look for it. They're like, hey, would you pet sit for me? So again, Lori Soleil with Soleil Creative. Thank you for being here and I'm happy to share these beautiful tips to you. More to come. Thank you.